Hey guys, um, I did not know this before I made our, our filmed, or else I would have said something. Um, I was told that this cemetery that you're about to see is, um, has a supposed vampire buried in it, and there's a unusual, um, grave site look for it and I do mention in the, the um the um the video because I thought it was cool because it was very unusual and it was like it looked like nothing else in the whole cemetery it, it did not match the headstone was not replaced and it had a, a fence around it and supposedly that's the um the vampire that was buried there and if you like my videos support them by giving the video a thumbs up and hitting the subscribe button. Hey, today I'm at the Lafayette um, Cemetery. It's not very big, I don't know too much about it. Except for they did it here, they replaced all the headstones with brand new ones. And some, there's still some old ones here, but a lot of them have been replaced with newer ones but I thought I would start off with here the military honor roll See, it's not very big. There's a fire station over there, um, park over there, and then the rec center over there. Here's a, a looks like a some older ones right here. I think could be an older one. So this is the fifth video I've done on a, on a different cemetery. I've done five different cemeteries. And one of them, there was a paranormal research group that went to the um, the one in Fort Collins. The, I can't remember what that, that video is called, but it's in my playlist, my cemetery playlist. But I didn't know um, one in Boulder is considered haunted, but I'm not sure if this one is. Now I gotta look at this one right here. Yeah, it's October 8th of death. October 26, 1981. I was two days old. Okay, this, I just see a sign over there. It looks like it might be the original entrance or something. Established 1891. Hey, look, if they actually have a trash can here, that's a good idea. You know, it's weird, it's so hard to tell, but right here, 
it's hard to tell that the, the coffins have caved in. I've showed that on other videos, but it's just so hard to tell. You have to I see a lot of smiths a lot. See, here's a few more that caved in. They look like they're really close to each other. I don't know if that helps so you can see it. A lot of people have been here lately, it looks like. I know they're fake, but they look like fairly clean and stuff, so it looks like they're fairly new. Well, we got quite a few graves in here but it's so like so small I don't think it looks like they might be out of room the bury here I don't know if anybody knows you could put a comment if you know about that if this cemetery is full but it looks pretty full I mean, that's fairly new because that's how you yeah, it's gotta be an old plot This is my today's October 31st Halloween and I thought this would be uh, a good Halloween thing to do since things are closed down. Now this is weird, it's a mound kind of uneven. Very uneven right here. This one sink in or sink properly or something. It has plenty of time to sink in. Actually, it looks like they just did. Or something. They didn't mark it yet. And some idiot had to drive right on it. Well, they even haven't engraved that yet, so it must have just happened. There were some people over here just a little while ago when I pulled up, so I didn't want to disturb them. Hey, look at there's another one. October 28th, 1981. And over there, 1981. Headstones, like I'm not sure about this one, but there's quite a few headstones I've seen that are in very good shape, like perfect shape. They're even though they're old, you can still read them and they still look good. I want to know why. I think it's kind of a waste of money to just be um, doing new ones if the family didn't want it. I don't know if the families wanted it, but normally when they 
that the family had to bite the headstone. But obviously there's groups going around and replacing the headstones. Except for one, they only replaced the headstones when they were broken and they tried to make it identical. The older one, the um, um, something hill, I, I can't remember what it's called. I don't have, can't look it up right now. I don't have internet access, but. And look at there. That's where all the, the, I don't know if you can hear that. The, they're redoing the roof over there. Line. I wonder how they got that white on there of the mountains. See, there's another one that got coloring on it. This is just like respect out of the Army, the U.S. Army, World War II, November 1920, and then died March 18, 1992. And there's another military one over here. Another World War II U.S. first sergeant. Another World War II guy. I like this setup right here. Look at that. That's to me, that looked like it had a um, time capsule of it. Police, there must be a problem somewhere. I've always kind of liked that kind of style of things, just like I don't know. The, some of those over there, are the taller ones, kind of tilted, they look old. But they, actually, the, the way they're leaning looks old, but they look like the actual stone looks like they're new. Oh, 
he's really leaning into the coffin. Is that a military one? Gone but not forgotten. Yeah, this one's got to be older. The, the lettering on it is. On that, yeah, that's that size. Good. Oh, that's look at that detail on all this. But over here, that. Oh, I. I get it. Someone, it's supposed to be a tree and it's supposed to be someone's their names written on the side. That's cool. Maybe talk to this old house. Uh, 